Hello, this is a Steinway Model K upright piano, about 133 centimetres tall, made in 1931. It's one of the best periods for Steinway, I believe, and really grateful to have got this piano in. We've spent quite a lot of time just re reconditioning it, not fully restoring it because it was in extremely good original condition. The, the key tops are just zeroing in on are absolutely perfect. There was actually one that we that was chipped and the chip's been repaired. Let's see if you can see that. Just if I zero in on there, you'll see a slightly lighter colour there. Um, so I'm really pleased with our technical department to have got it so perfect. Uh, generally speaking, the casework is is very good condition. Uh, we have French polished one of these just recently. Um, I'm sorry I forgot to take a photo of it to show you how this can turn out, because it does turn out absolutely immaculate. But this isn't immaculate. This is, uh, if you look on the top particularly, you can see it's got a little bit of scratching off. Polish has tried to hide this, but you can't hide that any better um, with French polish. You have to repolish the whole thing. And generally the piano is not faded and is in good condition. So um, obviously it makes it quite a lot dearer to French polish at 65 hours work roughly, but certainly worth doing if you're interested in having the piano looking immaculate. It hasn't had a huge amount of use. You can tell by the right-hand pedal, not that much more worn than, than the left. The pedals are relatively high. The casters are uh, apparently original, according to our technicians, but um, that does make the pedals a little bit on the high side, but it doesn't seem to be a problem because there's so much legroom. There's 66 centimetres legroom, and normally that's 61 or 61.5 centimetres on a modern piano, for instance. Uh, so if you're tall, that that's excellent. And because it, there's plenty of legroom, the height of the pedal and also it's a very small pedal might if we compare that with other pianos you'll see what i mean here's a new kawaii for instance with much longer pedals the frank are upright which has sloping down pedals we've mentioned before that how useful is. um so basically the pedal ends up being a bit on a bit lower uh, quite tall quite tall quite plenty of legroom here too and quite large casters as well now internally the piano is in exceptional condition, the tuning pins are very tight, They were the pitch was A422 as you'll see on the worksheet, extremely low and I think it's because it doesn't not been tuned and used for so long um, and so the hammers aren't very worn at all. Uh, we have just lightly refaced and voiced them but if you look there there's not a huge amount of wear on the hammers at all and uh, the whole piano is in extremely good condition. Let's listen to the tone while it's open. Obviously, being 1931, the bass strings have lost a bit of their tone, but if you replace them, you wouldn't necessarily have the original tone that they had. Um, you have to be very good replacement strings and a very good string maker to get an, a good match. So I prefer to keep them if the tuning pins are tight. It's better to keep the original strings, generally speaking. If you're in the trade and like to comment on that, please let me know. Here's the assessment worksheet that we made, and we've added to it since then so it's a bit messy sorry about that and there's details of the piano at the top and uh, we mentioned the leg room and high casters but it doesn't seem to be uncomfortable i think it's because of the very high leg room it's, as i say normally 61 um so we've done extensive work on the piano lots of well various things repinning uh total regulation new tapes and so on and um, repaired the chip key, reweighted the keys. If you look at the key weighting here, um, you'll see two numbers on each key. I've put the uh, 64, that was originally, now it's 52. Um, I've done the C, I'll do F sharp and C, so that says 56 going down to 53, 58 to 52, 58 to 51. So we're trying, as you know, to go from 52, 50, 48 at the top. So there's still a little bit of leveling off to do, still a bit of fine work to do, as you can see. But we've done uh, it as well as we can. Up weight, by the way, is 32 grams, which is good. Um, up weight on up, uprights, you, well, uprights on pianos generally, I think, can be between 25 and about 35, or 32 would be about maximum up weight. That's uh, Feel, makes it feel good, doesn't push against you when you're pushing down the key. You don't feel it's pushing against you. A lot of keyboards, in fact, most keyboards, they have an up weight of about 40 to 45 grams, and it doesn't 
feel the same as a normal upright a normal upright or grand so that's that's kind of uh, important for a musician to to feel good weight and very sensitive um, I didn't show all the regulation but we've done it as sensitively as we possibly can the tone of this piano is really unsurpassed there's no better upright in my opinion um, one or two that are similar quality but 1930s Steinway is excellent I'm not going to uh, uh, talk when I'm playing the piano I'll, I'll first of all demonstrate this compared to other pianos uh, let's listen to the mid treble uh, top treble and, and then tenor and bass this is the new top range Kawai K500 This is a Bechstein Model 7, dated 1912. Uh, I've just done a, a video of this piano. It's just been French polished, so um, it puts in a similar price bracket to the Steinway 